Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am Ashish, and as you seen in the beginning, in this video we gonna animate any 3D character, any humanoid 3D character, without using any uh, rigging or animation. And if you are a beginner, you can do it. No worries. You just to know, you just to follow along with the tutorial. Okay. So without wasting further time, let's get started. Uh, let's create a new composition. Story size, cause we gonna create this video in the story size. So let me go and check out. Let's drag and drop my footage. And that's it. That's my footage. Let me trim the comp. Five seconds will be more than enough for the demonstration purpose. Let me turn off the sound. Okay, fine. So first thing first, what we need to do? We need to camera tag the footage. Camera track. Okay, it might take a little bit time. So while it's taking, it's track, uh, tracking the camera. Let's go to Sketchfab. So Sketchfab is a site where you can download tons of 3D models from here. For so make sure uh, you download a humanoid model. So this trick will only work with a humanoid model as of now. The site which we are going to use is going to be Maximo. It only works with the humanoid model. You can even download, use its own model. Like you have tons of model over here. You can use it from his own library. Maximus his to the sketch fab. Search for any kind of model. You can find a Hulk game in any kind of model. For this prototype, I'm going to use Hulk. So yeah, this model will be fine. Okay, you can find out the Iron Man model also. So you have tons of options available here. Okay. So Mixumo only support OBJ and FBS format. Okay. So and we don't have that format right now. Okay. So what we need to do will download the model that available like GLV or GL format. I already downloaded it. You can even uh, maybe it has a, a pre-built OBJ format. So you can just go and use that format. If it doesn't work, so you can you need to convert the model to another format. Okay. So how it works, let me tell you. Just open up Blender. Don't afraid of it. It's just very simple software. No worries. So just press A and delete. Delete all the components, pre default components. Okay. So we have a clean scene. So let's import that model first that we downloaded. So as we download the GTF GLB format, so we will be using the GLB format, file GLB format. Again, import file GLV movement. Okay. Uh, let's give me test. Where is the format? Yeah. So we have imported our model, but you can't see it because its scale size is too small. So press S and drag it at making scaling. Okay. For you can press the scale as to scale him and move the mouse button so it's model in here you can just hold the mouse so you can by pressing middle mouse button okay so our model is ready so what we need to do is that just export in obj format you can you know, as well as you export in mbs but mostly i think it work with obj better so yeah we i already exported just go and export it it's already there. I already exported. So let's go back to the Maximo. And let's upload our character, okay? Uh, it's there. It will take some time to process. Depending on your computer speed and sorry, internet speed. So you just have to wait and take a sip of your coffee. Oh, it's done. Just flip it. Okay, done. So what we need to do, we need to place these points wherever it's showing. Okay, chin or chin, wrist on wrist, elbow on elbow, knee on knee, groan on groan. You can even see the reference VGI here. So. This will be easy and press next. 
again it will take some time to auto rank it you can even animate tons of uh, animation like punch flip lots of thing and lots of uh, 3d artists and film creator use mixable to auto rig even an animation from the mixable this is a it's a very useful website but it's almost done i think yeah it's done oh uh, look look at our character it's looking wow yeah fine so let's press next animation let's go to dance and choose whatever you like to go you can make him anything you want even fight right like anything but we will go to the dance so i will choose a point like samba whatever it is so no whatever and just go and download it the simple and download it download it skin okay that one for fine on our phone without skin it doesn't matter we already okay so done down download and let's like again drop our footage again uh mixamo always exported footage in lbs so we'll be in two lbs there that's i'm getting it's a this is the format that i choose the dance again it's a small size let's scan it again sorry it's there but as you can see just press let's select this armature and rotate it by pressing r and z yeah oh almost done so let's texture in we can't see the texture so we will use the texture from the pre uh, previous model that we exported to convert so just go to the text uh, previous model select previous model and go to shading and you will see the textures over here just copy it and just choose the model and press new and just copy paste and read the old ones okay so textures are there like if you can see the head is not there hairs are not there again copy paste the hair texture copy new layer and that's it done as you can see some layers are missing again copy paste yes we are done so this how it roll now we don't need this model just delete it okay fine again let's go and render in bomb you can see that we don't have any light right now okay so we need to light up the scene so what we need to do go to shading again but this time we'll go to the world now we'll press control plus t and the environment action coordinate is here but if you obviously if you are using it first time it won't work so you have to go back to zero it and need it to show you go to preference edit preference go to add on plus no wrangler and just tick on this and press save as preference okay node wrangler is a node wrangler is a very useful add on mostly if you are fighting with blender you definitely want to use it or not so until the t again now it working and i'm going to use a uh, sdi sorry and you must be thinking what is sdri if you are new so let me tell you what is sdri sdri is a lighting that captured in a single image let's go to sdri heaven and 3d it's a the best form to light up a scene if i want to light up the scene and place my character over here i want to light up according to my scene so for that what we need similar looking lighting setup like i think this will work fine for demonstration purpose and i will download it if i place a night as dri like for this for example this it won't work okay we need to find out a dri which works similar to that lighting okay it's i think is downloaded so i can go back to the blender i'm sorry yeah let me go to the blender and let me find that as dri is there so let me select that as dri let me import that as dri to my project text to okay now let me copy the path yeah and in this one why sir and now go to ending more and you can see it's working fine 
Nice. But I don't need, let's go to cycles. We always use cycles for realistic render. Okay. Go to CPU, choose CPU. If we have a good CPU. GPU to go because it's fast. And just go to uh, denoising and just press 32. And viewport sample 32. That's fine. So I don't want to see the no, I can get the, I don't want to see the uh, background image. So let's go to the film and twist transparent. Now it is seen. We don't need to see it. Okay. Now it looks, it worked fine. So now we need a shadow. Just go to mesh. Shift plus A. Mesh plane. Let's make this plane be a little bigger. And just go to object and visibility go to shadow catcher that's it and now you can play, see the shadow of this object okay and let me set it is 32 frame animation 70 frame low let me set the frame rate to 70 to we almost good for this demonstration purpose so yeah now you can see dancing hulk <laughs> so now let's set the camera shift plus a camera and let me change the resolution to like 1080 as the footage and let me look around the view that perfect match by scene i think this will work and just press the camera choose the camera and control alt plus zero and it will set according to that if it doesn't set just choose again and set that and just press the camera you can press z again to move that camera like wherever you want like from this in this angle or, or press zero again to come out from the camera scene you can even choose the camera and move along it move, move, move according to your need okay so it looks fine for me looks good make sure before rendering just your denoise or denoise sample is around very low if you don't have a good computer it may take a very long time to render maximum i think you should go to 128 for demonstration purpose only i'm just going to 32 frame sample that's enough for this per render okay and you can even uh, render along with the motion blur so you can see the real life motion blur but i don't suggest you to do this you can even use a rmb motion plugin for after effect which can add or you can even do it it, it, it will give a realism to it okay for this and let's go to the render setting and choose the render format and let me render out the whole scene and just press accept and just go to fill in and render the whole animation okay i already have rendered it with the scene so i will choose this one go to render and select and make sure before in rendering uh you should make uh, fi file format should be the PNG alpha and one more thing I, I I should tell you that in shading you can just uh, press 0 you can select the, click on 0 to set the camera view to look at the camera view you can even uh, rotate the HDRI lighting like this from here that's why we used uh, node wrangler according to your scene just make sure uh, like if your lighting is coming from here so you can set the lighting according to that in branding scene like this you can rotate scale your lighting according to your need okay just play with that so it will match your scene better okay i'm just showing you the demonstration so i am not doing that okay so okay done let's render it out let's so after rendering here is your footage i just rendered a few frames so let me select any of one frame and just select the png so you can and import all sequence will be imported right here perfect perfect so as you can see the moving hard here okay so let's select the frame again and click on the camera track let's select few points where i want to select the hulk and you can just select this point yeah perfect and now right click on that click create solid and camera and you can see our plane is right there it is properly sticking to the ground okay now what we need to do we just need to click on the hulk 
in the sequence and tracks on it. Alt press Alt and drag and drop top of the so top on the top of on solid, and it will replace it. Swipe it. So now you can see the Hulk animation is there, but it's on the, it's not looking proper. So let's press R and rotate it and rotate it in in Y direction. Perfect. And it's looking now good. And let's scale it a um, bit and eat. get it down. Let's match the scene a little bit. And now I think it's working fine. It's looking fine. Let's let me turn the com to show you. And now it's looking very nice, guys. Don't do you think so? So let's go to the color collection tab and color correct a little bit. And our photo is a little warm, so let's let view our temperature a little warm. And you can just color grade it according to your footage. I'm just showing you too. Okay. And that's it guys. And your photo is ready and you can just color do a color correction. So the color grading on top of that color correction. Let's go to color correction, select an illumitic color. Like for this, I think this looks good. Decrease the power and I think it's looking fine. Great. I haven't uh, clicked on motion blur, so it's not that. I can use this. Okay. It's looking nice, guys. Hana. So that's what, that's how you animate your character. I hope you loved this tutorial. I will see you in next video. And I must say, you should check out our website, microinterface.com. It has tons of assets. I will be giving away the links of Sketchfab and Maximo in the description. You can check out our other tutorials from here and as well as on, on our YouTube channel too. And you can download these assets too. Okay. And definitely check out our website. So I will see you in the next video till then. Learn, create, inspire. Thank you.